one time we were going to visit a, a, a member who uh, who's less active and we set up an appointment and when we called and set up the appointment he it seemed kind of, he seemed something was off I, I could just tell i didn't know what it was and then on our way to the appointment it was late at night it was well not late at night but it was later uh he called us and told us that you know he that we shouldn't stop by his wife was actually the one that told us that uh to, to stop by another time and we were like okay and so we went home and it just so happened that we took the route back home that passed to their place and when we stopped by their place they, they were just out there uh just sitting and we talked to them for a little bit and they said yeah right now it's just not a good time and i think my companion and i both had kind of the the, the prompting to to say a prayer with them but for some reason or other we we didn't and so we just said bye and started walking away both of us feeling it. Finally, and I'll, I'll forever be grateful for this, my companion turns to me and says, should we have said a prayer with them? And I was like, yeah. And I was like, should we turn around? We'd, we'd already walked. Not, not too long of a distance, but you know, we'd walked away. And we just, we just sat there and looked at each other. And finally we decided, well, it's a good thing. You know, let's act on it. So we turned around. And um, we were like, hey, would it be okay if we, if we said a prayer with you? And they said, yeah. The husband had said nothing up to this point. And he just nodded. I didn't notice my companion did. He said he nodded. And we prayed with them. It was a simple prayer. We just asked for their protection and walked away. The next day, um, the less active father, who's a member of the branch, called us. And explained to us that this member had been dealing with a lot of different issues. Uh, some of them drug related. And that that night, his son had come to him. At like two or three in the morning. And told him that he realized he needed help. And that because of the drugs and stuff like that, he was about to take his own life. But because we had stopped back and prayed with them. He decided not to. That experience right there, like, I mean, if I just had that experience for my whole mission, that would have been worth it. Because we acted on one good impression. We saved someone's life. I'll never forget that. The power that one good thing can do. Even if it means having to turn around and come back. And uh, that was one of the moments when you just know that Heavenly Father uses the, the small, the weak and simple things and the, the weak and simple people and performs miracles. And I know that. I know that God's a God of miracles. And New Jersey, which maybe to some people would be like a place where not a lot of miracles happen. When people have faith in New Jersey, they'll see miracles there too.